2 on EA Sports. And the question is, are you ready for some football? It's the Birds and the Buccaneers. And it's coming up next on EA Sports. We are just a few miles from the Gulf Coast of Florida at Raymond James Stadium here in Tampa. Just a short time ago, the Buccaneers emerging from their tunnel to the roar of this frenzied crowd here in the Sunshine State. And we're in the big ship, and fittingly, everyone here ready to do battle as Tampa Bay gets ready to match up with the Philadelphia Eagles. With Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon. And Charles, you take a look at the Eagles, and this is going to be a heck of a chess match. This offense against a defense that will take no prisoners out there. It's going to be a big-time battle, and I think that both of these teams have that mindset of, we're going to do what we do and make the other guys react to us. And we've definitely got a couple of headstrong coordinators who won't back down from a challenge. So this will be a battle of wits as much as it'll be a battle of brawn. the punter Bradley Pinion on to get us started and off we go from Tampa taking it about the one and good coverage there on special teams as they'll get him down shy of the 20. Philly's offense getting ready and Jalen Hurts ready to lead them the second round pick who started his career at Alabama then finished with an electric senior season at Oklahoma. Tremendous production in college at two different universities, and this is a guy who was a finalist for the Heisman Trophy. Still much more of a runner than a thrower, but has plenty of arm and is capable of making the big throws downfield. And don't underestimate his ability to think the game. Remember, he's the son of a coach. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. They run on first down, but it only produces a gain of two. It's second down now. Certainly a nice job there by the defense rallying to the football and getting him on the ground, but I think the play gets made by the defensive front because if they can't get upfield, their job is to go ahead and get low, almost get into a ball sometimes, stack things up, and make it difficult for the runner to find a hole. Throwing on second and eight. Hurts looking here for Smith downfield. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A big play there for Philly. In today's NFL, you know, we talk about quarterbacks and their speed and accuracy, but there's still something about a guy slinging one downfield. And we knew that they tried to attack the secondary, but I'm not sure that we thought they'd do it right on the first drive of the game. But here they saw an opportunity, seized it, and it's a big play right off the bat. And the final number on that throw, boy, it traveled an even 69 yards. Play action. Here's Hurts. And he's going to be taken down here. A sack back at the 32. The big Vita Vea pushing his way through to wind up with a sack. I know there'll be a little bit of criticism there because they went right back to the air after the huge pickup and end up getting sacked. That's often a play that you make. You feel like you've got momentum on your side. Unfortunately, the O-line failed to hold up to try to keep that momentum going. Second and 20. Hurts a handoff to Sanders. And they only get a yard back there. They'll be left with a third down and long. He's on, he's on. 
Well, sometimes it's hard to take your eyes off this guy at the linebacker position. He can really cover some ground, and he did there to make that play. And sometimes all of your best laid plans of play design, your X's and O's, they can't always account for individual effort defensively. And this was one of those times. Just a terrific play to hustle over there and get the running back to the ground. And the next-gen stats, they tell the story as he was approaching 19 miles an hour on that one. to throw left side here to Sanders and he is going to have an Eagles first down as they're able to get the third down conversion oh there's going to be a little bit of regret there because they certainly had the chance to get off the field here just giving up a field goal attempt but they couldn't get that stop on third down now they have to hunker down because guess what that drive continues <laughs> So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Hurt sets up to throw it. Steps away to his left. And he'll take it into the end zone for an Eagles touchdown. Jalen Hurts, a 10-yard touchdown run. And the Eagles drive right down the field and score on the opening drive. Well, the underdog here is showing no fear. Great opening drive. Now, we weren't in the locker room for the pregame speech, but I will guarantee you somewhere along the way, the head coach said, let's just grab a big stick and smack them with it and let them know we're going to be here today. They may be the, the team that's supposed to be superior, but we're not backing down to anyone. And on the road, no less, setting the tone. Elliott Good with a PAT, and it's now a 7-0 game. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he will be brought down here inside the 20. Good coverage as he's dropped at the 17. Tampa Bay coming out along with a man who needs no introduction, the great Tom Brady. Well, we've all seen what Tom Brady can do on a football field for a couple of decades now. But how about his most impressive accomplishment? Moving to a different franchise and taking them to a Super Bowl title as well. Not many players can continually stiff on father time the way that he has. Brady and the Buccaneers here, first and 10 at their own 17-yard line. Throwing to start the drive, Brady. Looking right sideline, but it's incomplete. No such risk in anything there on first down, even though he's still in the pocket. He had a receiver out to his side, so just put that in a spot where the only people who can make a play on it are the trainers and the coaches. Well done. So now second and 10 after the incompletion on first down. Brady now to throw. This one complete to Giovanni Bernard. That'll leave him with a third and two coming up. They got eight yards there. We'll see what kind of mindset they have here offensively after giving up the touchdown on the opening drive. And based on our time with them, you know, prior to this game, I feel like they've got a good mindset going in. In fact, the discussion that we had with the coaching staff was, you know, we may give up some points in this game, so our offense has to be ready each and every time to either equal or try and get us ahead and try and keep us ahead. This is their chance to respond to that first touchdown given up. Plenty of things to talk about here, partner, but to me, their defense gave up a touchdown on the first drive. How about how they're responding, coming back? That's a big third down pickup to keep their drive alive. Oh, 
So a good run by Fournette. Now another first and ten. Now a handoff here to his running back. And he'll get this up to about the 40. Five yards on the carry. Good pickup on first down. Brandon, five yards on that run. Let's get back to the huddle and make sure if you're back, you spend time with your offensive line and give them credit. Hard to move those 300-plus pounders at the line of scrimmage, and they did for a significant chunk of yardage. From the 40 now on second down, Brady. That's complete to Tyler Johnson. And he gets this one to midfield before he's brought down. Well, this is where reading defenses and practice time comes into play. You've got to know what you're running versus zone versus man and how to run the proper route. And they just executed that one pretty well. Let's go, baby. After one, seven, nothing on EA Sports. Second quarter now in Tampa Bay. It's the Buccaneers in control of the football as they've got it with a first and 10. From midfield, here's Brady. It's caught by Mike Evans. And he's going to get a solid gain of nine before being brought down second and right at a yard. One thing we do know, he's going to get his catches. So as they move forward defensively, got to continue to focus on not giving up the big play when he does catch the ball in the secondary. From the 41, Brady. And this throw incomplete. And the defender all over him that time, but it's going to lead to third down. Nice play there to force the incompletion. And to me, one thing's for sure. When you're the underdogs and you're playing on the road, you absolutely have to get takeaways. You've got to get the ball from them. Yeah, win that turnover battle going to be key. They didn't get one there, but you get the feeling they keep making plays like that. They might just get a few. Yeah, once you get one, defensive teams think they come in bunches. They'll try and run for it with Fournette. And for the moment, this will be a first down. But we have a marker on the field. Let's see if this stands. So this will be accepted as it moves the offense backwards. Play number seven now coming up on the drive. Third and five. Again, they'll throw with Brady. This is caught by Evans. And he has another first down as he'll get the ball down to the Eagles 19. Back in the first quarter, you said it. They need to avoid the big play, but he just got a big one right there. He can't relax, you know? We talked about it in the first quarter, but as the game progresses, still opportunities, and he took advantage of one there. So here's a first and 10 now down inside the 20. Into the red zone, it's Brady. Slant route to Miller. Seven yards, the pick up there. Nothing fancy on first down, but a very consistent type of a play. Hit that slant, a lot of people call it an extension of the running game, and it can be if that pass is completed, because you hit a guy on the run like that, he often can go for big yardage. Sets him up nicely for second down, staying ahead of schedule. 49, 49. Throwing again on second down. Brady, and yeah, this one too low. A lot of times it's that first read that you have. Maybe you get it in pre-snap, and he locked in on his target, but he was covered quite well, and that one's incomplete. So the incomplete pass on the last play, and that leads us to a third and three. Now Brady again. 
And this is going to be incomplete. Tight defense there on third down, but what a product of good coaching and even better execution because he realized he's in field goal range, no sense forcing anything, and he made sure he didn't. So Brady departs, and on it's Ryan Suckup for the Buccaneer field goal. And Suckup will put this one right through. And they are on the board, but still trailing. It's 7 to 3. So, from an offensive perspective, at least able to get on the board here right in front of the two minute warning. Yeah, now it's time to talk about complimentary football, isn't it? Because if the defense can force a three and out, there could be enough time on the clock that they can get the ball back for their offensive guys and maybe put some more points on the board before the half. The punter pinion now to kick this one away. This will be fielded inside the five. And he'll be tackled just shy of the 25. We got this. So back onto the field here come the Eagles for their second drive. They had the touchdown on the opening drive of the ball game. It was countered by just a field goal. So, hey, if your guys can do that for four quarters, you're in good shape. Yeah, it is a team game, so that's just good complimentary football. But, you know, I know I'm no brainiac, but you trade sixes for threes, things are going to work out in your favor. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 24. They'll fake the give to Sanders, and now Hurts. Looking sideline, incomplete. Not only did he have a chance to scan the field there, it felt like he had a chance to scan it twice. The protection was that good. Unfortunately for him, the coverage downfield, equally good. Second and 10. the draw. Here's Sanders. And that didn't fool anybody. He's going to be dropped in the backfield. He chopped that up as a four-yard loss. And now it's third down. When a draw works, it can be a thing of beauty. But when it doesn't, oh, it can be ugly. And in this case, loss of yardage ugly. And the box with an extra defender in the secondary now on third down. Here's Hurts to throw. And that is incomplete. And this is what you want to see from a defense. Give up an opening drive touchdown, that's fine. But how about them going back out there, recommitting themselves to the task at hand, and forcing a three and out, and giving the ball back to their offense. Here's Aaron Sipos out now to punt on fourth down. Let's take it inside his own 40. We'll call that a punt of 38 yards officially. And the Bucs will get ready to go on offense. Tampa Bay, they're getting ready to set up shop here for their second drive. And last time they got three points, but it was a chip shot field goal. And when you go to the sideline after a chip shot field goal, maybe the offense not too happy. It's a balancing act, isn't it? Because you're exactly right. They're none too pleased that they didn't punch it in for six points. But they also have to remember, they did put points on yeah, the board. Three and, points is three points. And in this league, <laughs> you take points when you can get them. Not easily done. Brady and the Bucks now with a first and 10 at the 45. Throwing to start the drive. Brady, this is Miller, complete. And they'll get him down after a pickup of eight, second and two. Two minutes to play in this first half, 7-3, our score. Reminder coming up in a couple of minutes' time. We'll pay a visit to Jonathan Coachman, the coach in our EA Sports studios. They'll have a look back at the next-gen stats from this first half of action. A throw there by Brady, intended for Gronkowski, but incomplete. 
To this point, I've been impressed with the work defensively. They have not allowed a lot of receivers to run free. And there's another example, another incompletion. After the incompletion, here now, third and two. Now Brady. He's going to drop this one down to Bernard. And he's going to have a Bucs first down as this defense unable to hold. It's a seven-yard game there on third and two. Another catch for him there on this drive, Brandon. And it looks like they're going to utilize him out of the backfield any way they can. And that time, they pick up a first down. So now on defense, do you assign a man to him and try and cover him before he gets going? Brady now on first down. Quick completion here to Johnson. And he's going to get this inside the 30. That was a nicely run slant route. And what the receiver's trying to do is make the defender think he's going upfield for a deeper route and then breaks it off, usually after about three to four steps and cuts towards the middle of the field. And now what he's trying to do is use his body to keep the defender away from the football and get the quarterback a really nice target. They had to settle for three last drive, hoping the second go around ends in six. In good position, first and ten. And in for the Buccaneers touchdown. Mike Evans, 29 yards. And the Bucs have taken the lead. Suck up on for the point after. And it's through, and that makes the lead 10-7. The drive summary that time, five plays. And it's all finished off with a touchdown by Tampa Bay. Kickoff honors following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And no chance to get away as they'll get him down at about the 17-yard line. Here's the Philadelphia offensive unit now as they head out to take over possession. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You could never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. So from the 17 now, here's a first and 10. Throwing from the gun, it's Hurts. Going deep here for Watkins. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. Let's go, baby. And he's going to be out of bounds right at midfield. A big connection on that one. 33 yards. Now that certainly solidifies how to attack this two-minute drill right before the half. I don't think they were going to try and run out the clock. But now after that big play, their thoughts are certainly of trying to score and get some points before the half. So the line of scrimmage all the way up to midfield now as they've got it first and 10. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. Throw left side complete. That's Sanders. And he takes this just a few yards shy of the red zone before going out. A big play that time on the catch and run. And this has been a nice answer to the touchdown drive against them a few minutes ago because they've come out and reestablished the tempo. A nice throw there, and they're putting together a very strong drive as a response. On first down, Hurts. Dancing to his left. 
He's got the first down inside the 10. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Jalen Hurts with his second touchdown here in this first half. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. That could be an important swing right there, a touchdown in the final minute of the half to take the lead. And I like the point you just made there. Could be an important swing because now that they have the lead, if they can carry that into the locker room at the half, they'll feel really good about what they accomplished in the first two quarters. Elliott now to add the extra point. And that makes it 14-10. So they only needed three plays on that drive. And a pretty good run there in the end to top it off. Now after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded inside the five. And able to get this across the 20, but not much further as he's dropped at the 23-yard line. Well, the Bucks going to take over now late in this first half. And with him trailing, there is still enough time to try to string a few plays together, maybe get into field goal range. Five seconds, all that remains in the first half as they come up on first down. Here's Brady. A pass underneath for Fournette. They'll contain him to just four, second down. This time they'll just keep this on the ground. A short gain here, maybe a yard to the 29. So we've reached halftime here, and it's our visitors, the Eagles, leading this one. As we toss it an hour or so east of here to Orlando, it's Jonathan Coachman with our EA Sports Halftime Report. Okay, Brandon, thanks very much, and welcome, everyone, to this abridged version of the EA Sports Halftime Report. First things first, let's get a check on the next-gen stats from that first half for Philadelphia. And even though they've got the lead, they're likely going over ways they can improve the running game, as they didn't find a whole lot of success in those first two quarters. Meanwhile, for the Bucks, there's a look at what they were able to do throwing the football. And they'll need to get things in gear as they trail here at the break. Okay, coach, yeah, adjustments likely gonna play a big role in this third quarter in what's been a tight contest so far. as we get set to resume action in this third quarter of play. From a yard or two deep, here comes a return. And he'll be brought down shy of the 20, so the decision to bring it out of the end zone, not a good one. Out come the Buccaneers. They'll have it first to start in the third quarter. And they're on the short end of the scoreboard here. Charles, what adjustments, if any, do you think they need to make for the second half? We're paraphrasing the gold medal hockey winning coach Herb Brooks. I just say you continue to play your game. Throw the ball. They had success doing it in the first half. So make sure you keep getting the ball to your playmakers, a little bit more to the perimeter perhaps. But above all, play your game. Brady going to bring the Bucks up with a first and 10 at their own 18. 
And he'll begin with a give to Fournette to start the drive. And not a whole lot to speak of there as he'll bring him down shy of the 20. Just a yard on the first down carry, so it's second and nine. I have to think a major focus of the halftime means had to be figured out how to create space for the running game to get operating. Well, what you pointed out to me at half seems accurate. That line has struggled to sustain blocks. Yeah, I would agree with that totally. They've got to focus on staying on their double teams at the first level, make sure that block's secured before they slide off and try and chip someone at the second level. Well, if you're a football guy, that's a pretty run because everyone is in sync right there. Obviously, the guy carrying the ball, but how about the people up front? Leverage, athleticism, they created some nice space for him. The Eagles call on the extra defensive back here as they prepare for a stop on third down. On play action, it's Brady. Going deep this time for Miller. And he's got it. What a catch on the sideline. A big play that time for Tampa Bay. That's a well-thrown ball right there. This is where arm strength pays off because he's got to be able to get the ball both downfield and to the sideline. And that's one of the more difficult throws for a quarterback. And he put it right where it needed to be. So how about that for a chain mover? They're all the way down inside the 40 now for first and 10. Brady going to throw. He finds his target. It's Evans. And he's taken down, but not before reaching the 10-yard line. I love the drive they're working on here because they know they can take the lead with a touchdown. And so far on this drive, so good. They moved the ball down the field with very little resistance defensively. But they better be prepared for some adjustments to come their way now. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. Here's Bernard. And a short pickup there down to about the nine. Only a yard on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. When we talk about defenders, specifically linebackers, keeping their eyes in the right spot. He had that eye down the entire time. And you know that's not easily done because they throw a lot of misdirection at you. They try and fool you and get your eyes in the wrong place. But you're right about that one. He correctly figured that one out and made a really nice play. They keep it on the ground. This time it's Fournette. And he maneuvers his way down to the three-yard line. Give him six on the play, and that's going to bring up a third down. He had a ton of success here so far, but you get the feeling that he might be on the verge of popping one. Yeah, even on that one, there was a little bit of a hole, but it closed there quickly at the end. Brady going to try and throw on third down. And he's got his tight end, Howard. It's a Buccaneer touchdown. A three-yard touchdown pass. And the Buccaneers have once again taken the lead. You get down near the goal line, this is where having a sure-handed tight end becomes a luxury. And it pays off big time, especially when the defense sells out against the run. He finds himself open for an easy touchdown. Extra point try now for Suckham. It's good, and they'll take a 17-14 lead. So that winds up a seven-point drive all told. And it ends with a touchdown for the Bucks. This one away. From a couple yards deep, he'll bring it out of the end zone. And he's probably realizing he should have stayed in the end zone as he can only muster a return to the 14-yard line. So here are the Eagles now as they get set for their first possession of the second half. 
Last time they were out here, they had the benefit of good field position, led to a touchdown. This time, they're going to have to work for it. They are, but with that last drive that culminated in a touchdown, I think they carry that confidence into this one. It doesn't matter where you start with the football now. They have to feel great about their opportunity. Hurts and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 14-yard line. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. And his throw is going to be incomplete. Trying to get their tight end involved finally. That's the first time that they've looked his way. He's kind of been a forgotten man in this offensive scheme. Yeah, it didn't look his way at all in the first half. And I'll bet you the offense coordinator made a note at the half and said, let's get him involved because he could be a big-time playmaker for us. A good action to this point in the third quarter. Just a three-point game. Second and ten. Throwing his hurts. That's caught by the big tight end, Dallas Goddard. Five yards, now it's third and five. Not a big window to throw. Coverage wasn't too bad there. Yeah, they had him under wraps pretty well, but somehow able to muscle his way open and catch the ball. The Bucks with an extra defender now in the secondary here on third down. Hurts. And on the catch right side, this is Sanders. And he is going to have an Eagles go. first down as they're able to get go. the third down conversion. Well, they certainly had success throughout this contest, getting him the ball in the passing game, and there he picks up another first down. Whatever they saw going into this one, they've been able to capitalize on it, and no adjustment has been made to take it away. They go play action with Hertz. Airing it out deep for Smith. And that is incomplete. Took a shot there on first down, but he couldn't reel it in. It's been clear in this matchup which side has been the more physical one. It's been this defense. And here's another example on that last play. The second and 10 now as we roll along in the third quarter from Tampa. From the gun, it's Hertz. His throw incomplete. From the snap, he certainly looked like he knew where he wanted to go with the ball, but surprise, that guy was covered. So that took his attention elsewhere to no avail. Completions and that has him staring at a third and ten. Hurt sets up to throw it. And that will be incomplete. As a defensive back, you have some weapons at your disposal that we don't often talk about. And you can read the receiver's eyes, you can read his hands, and you know that the arrival of the ball is imminent, and that allows you to make a play on it and oftentimes knock it away. The Eagles send out their punter now as he'll punt it away for the second time. Fair catch called for and made at about the 32-yard line. 36 yards on the punt with no return. And the offense will take over with a new set of downs. Again, we see Tom Brady and the Bucs set to take over. He is looking to help his team build their lead after trailing at halftime. They've got to like the spot they're in right now. They have to love it, but as you and I both know, cliche alert coming here. You're only as good as your last possession, but I think that they like, as you said, the spot they're in and how confidently they're playing at this point. Right, but again, just a one possession lead, looking to expand that now. Throwing on first down is Brady. It's complete. It's Miller. And he slips up past the 45 before being tackled. Let's go. And defensively, they were in zone covers there. Do you have to be a little careful you're losing playing against a good quarterback like he is to not play too much zone? Yeah, you have to be careful about how much time you're giving up. I think it's a good point you just brought up. So maybe if you still want to play zone, you go to a zone blitz scheme. 
and you can drop anyone out of your defensive front. Defensive end, defensive tackle, it doesn't matter. You just exchange someone to bring more pressure towards the quarterback and still try and cover downfield. On first down, Brady. Evans has it left side. And he'll be brought down on what's going to turn out to be the final play of this third quarter. Three quarters have come and gone. You are watching the NFL on EA Sports. Back now in Tampa. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. So from Philadelphia territory now, here's a first and 10 at the 38. Here's Brady to throw to Evans on the slant. And he works it past the 30, almost to the 25. Well, that should be a reminder defensively, and I think it's a reminder to myself because you just can't sell out to stop the run. There's still enough time that this offense can move the football through the air even on first and second downs, and they obviously picked the right spot to throw the ball there. Fournette, a first down carry. A little second effort there on the strong run, and then dropped just inside of the 20. Just what you want on a first down run, call it eight yards, and it's second and two. Brady. Looking left side, and he's got a man. That's Evans. And the Bucs are going to be looking at first and goal as they move this down to the four-yard line. Tell you what, he's been able to put the ball in some tight spots all game long. That throw, no different. Yeah, a lot of people would call it a gutsy type of a throw. I think he looks at it as, I can do it. So it's not that big of a deal to me, and I'm going to keep firing. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Fournette. And he's into the end zone for a Tampa Bay touchdown. Leonard Fournette taking it in from four yards out. And the Bucs are going to add on to their lead. Well, that makes this a two-score ball game. And, you know, the way this thing has been going, Charles, two scores kind of feels like three or four scores. Yeah, that's a great observation. It's been a heck of a battle, hasn't it? And points have been at a premium throughout this game. So you have to wonder, is this going to be too much for them to overcome? Extra point up and good by Sucka. And his guys will take a 10-point lead. That time, a six-play drive. And a man who finished it off with a run into the end zone, Leonard Fournette. Now Pinion with a kickoff honors following the touchdown. And here comes a return from just beyond the goal line. And he'll take it a yard or so past the 20, call it the 21. Now Philadelphia ready to get going on offense again. And yeah, the script really is flipped for them. The momentum on the other sideline, and now they have to try and battle back from a two-score deficit. and the Eagles come up here first and 10 at their own 21. They'll try and start this drive in the air. He's going to look deep for Watkins. And he fires one that's intercepted. 
Picked up by Jordan Whitehead. And the Bucs are going to get the football here as he gets this up to the 38-yard line. And that pretty much has been the storyline, Charles. This defense, they seem to be one step ahead from the start of the game until now. And you identified it perfectly, and we can see the frustration is settling in now. And it's probably been there for a long time, but now it's evident because you can see it in their faces, you can see it in their body language, maybe even a little bit in that play call that ended up maybe closing them out. The Bucks offense set to begin their next possession. They have to like the position that they are in. Fourth quarter, two-score lead, and now the ball back after the INT. And he's going to be stopped up quickly here. Just a yard up to the 39. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms that have ever been used, they come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Clock continuing to run. They'll probably wind this all the way before snapping it on second down. They'll run it again with Fournette. And he's across the 40, three extra yards to the 43. And this is an absolutely big third down that's been set up here, partner. And there's no other way to put it. The defense has to get a stop here if they have any hopes of winning this game. Pastor, you said big third down. I'd put the word big in capital letters here. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Buccaneer football as we welcome you back. They've got a third down now as they look for one more first down to help salt this one away. Throwing left side, he's got Gronk complete. And quickly, we're going to get another stop here with 1.54 left as they call the timeout defensively. Here's Bradley Pinion now, as he's on a punt for the first time this afternoon. This is away, but boy, headed straight for the sidelines. And this is going to work out well as it's out of bounds near the 13-yard line. Kurtz and the Eagles now, down 24-14. A little under a minute 50 remaining. They'll need a score here and also likely an onside kick recovery, but first things first. First and ten. Try to shake off the interception. He'll look to throw. He's got Rager. And he'll be out of bounds right around the 20. Seven yards to pick up there. Let's make this one. And now it appears that the referee's been buzzed, and we'll get a review. And this being inside two minutes of play, everything coming from up above. Did he keep those feet in bounds? That's the question they've got to decide. And I got to say, watching it in real time, it was awfully close. Yeah, it certainly looked like a heck of a catch because he didn't appear to bobble it, which could complicate things. But even with the benefit of replay, that's pretty tight. Well, here's the call. So the folks in New York just going to wind up confirming what the official saw as this play will stand as is. To throw again on second down. Hurts. And it's incomplete. If this offense can't get it done, they'll think back to just a few plays and say to themselves, this was a winnable game and we let it get away. Still a chance to save it, but time's definitely running out. So the incomplete pass on the last play and that leads us to a third and three. Here's Hurts to throw. He's gonna let it fly. And he 
It's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. This defense was definitely alert to the possibility of the deep ball, and they were more than ready for it. They've got the lead, fourth quarter. Maybe can expect more passes like that downfield. Well, the offense is not leaving the field. They're going to stay out and go for it on fourth and three. And he won't get there. They stop him a few yards short of the line to gain. They had to go for it with such little time remaining. And now possession's going to go over with a football at the 20-yard line. So with that, we can just about close the book on this one, Charles. Yeah, what's the old expression about Slim and none? Well, Slim just left town on that <laughs> They're one. They're down to none? Yes, exactly right. Here comes the Tampa Bay offense now heading back out onto the field. And a few kneel downs should come very close to finishing this one off, depending on whether or not we see any defensive timeouts. They still have two, but using them would just be prolonging what's really already been decided. Three tight ends in the ball game here on first and ten. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll get this one down to about the 17. Now the Eagles will use the second of their timeouts as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Have to imagine this will be on the ground as well as they come up second and seven. Again, it's Fournette. And they'll bring him down at the 13-yard line. The Eagles will take their third and final timeout as they'll head to the sideline and talk over what to do next. Third down, Fournette. And he's able to pick up the first before he's brought down inside the five at the four. 54 yards rushing on 12 carries for him now. I have to check with myself a little bit, Brandon, because right now I could be in that huddle with that offensive line. I know exactly what they're saying. If you call a pass play here, we're going to call a timeout. Run the football. <laughs> We've got control of this thing. Get in behind us and let's go. Their time to shine. Well, they probably don't need to run a play here, but you wonder if they're going to be able to resist on first and goal. Brady will take a knee here, and that should just about do it. Listen, anytime you take a knee to end a game, that means you've won it. So it doesn't matter whether it's home or on the road, but there's something a little extra special about doing it in front of your home crowd, isn't there? And the home crowd applauding. They're happy with what they've seen. Chalk this one up in the left-hand column for a win. Yeah, that's right. Head to the locker room, throw the wristbands in the crowd for the kids, your gloves, your towels. Get to share it with the home team. So time has run out on what will be a Tampa Bay victory. And it was their defense that really made the statement after the break. They pitched the second half shutout. Yeah, think about the team that just got vanquished. They did score in the second quarter. Do you think they thought at all that that would be their last point of the game? No, I, but what a second half. The adjustment, whatever they did in the locker room, it certainly worked. It certainly did, and you're exactly right. Whether it was an adjustment, whether it was just more focus on what they planned to do going in, whether they just played better, whatever it was, it all came together in the second half, and no points were allowed. That's a great way to close them out.